hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new my name's Anne Marie and today we have the first Bacopoly TBR of 2024 okay so first we're going to go through the board um, and then we'll go through the uh, through some rules and then we'll do the rolls and the books so this is the new board for 2024 um, I've moved things around but they're all pretty much the same. So the brown, there's now only two of them instead of the three that there was before. Um, and they've gone to small and big book uh, instead of the middle grey. Uh, the blue is now fantasy instead of the small and middle book. Um, the pink which is here now instead of at the top there is for sequels. Um, orange, which used to be like set in the UK and set not in the UK, is now science fiction. Red is romance, which used to be pink, but that is in the same place. Um, the yellow, again, there's only two of these instead of three now, and they're crime, thriller, mystery, horror kind of books. Um, we have middle grade here, which is now green instead of the brown, and classics and TBR that are the same, I've just swapped them around so they're in different places. Um, the corners we have the go randomize my TBR here, it's still. Um, viewer recommendations is still here. This one I've changed from five star predictions to mood read, and this corner is gift, so a book I've been gifted. Um, uh, the train stations, they are here. This is mythology and law instead of lowest rated. Um, 40 before 40. I've been making a video on the 40 books I want to read before I'm 40. Um, so I will pick one of them books. Um, the train station here is an arc because, instead of highest rated because I don't read my arcs when I'm supposed to. And this one here is scroll goodreads instead of most recent purchase and that means I'll scroll through my goodreads feed and the first book that I find that I own I will put on my TBR. Chance is still here, community shelf is still here and there's another one up the top row here and here. My most recent purchase is now here, um, Pulpic is now up here. Um, ebook is now here, and my read a library book is now here. For the rules, some are simple. I start on the go space because it's January, um, and then every month after that, I will start on whatever space I landed on the month before or in the last roll. Uh, I have three rolls each month. Um, and as typical Monopoly thing, if you get a double, you roll again and add another book. I roll, I land on a space, and if the space will tell me what kind of book that I need to read. So, for example, if I land here on the mythology and law one, it means I need to find a book about mythology and law. I added that because there are a lot of mythology books about whales that I have never read. Uh, and obviously if I land on a chance or community shelf uh, space then I pick one of the cards um, and then I add a book to match that prompt to my TBR. Uh, so like uh, another thing is if I land up here on the red I have to pick a book that's a romance book but that could be a fantasy romance, a historical romance, um, a sci-fi romance, any kind of romance book as long as it's got romance in it. Um, if I land on the electricity spot which is down here I have to read um, an ebook or listen to an audio bar. Um, if I land on the like what should be the waterwork it's a pulpit which means I'll stick a pole somewhere and then people get to vote on it. Um, 
I've decided that if I land on Paul Pick or if I pick a community shelf card that says Paul Pick or Ask a Friend, um, I'm going to draw three books out of the mugs behind me. Uh, three or four books out of the mugs behind me and then post a vote on Discord or on Twitter or on the YouTube community space. Okay, so that's all the rules out of the way. Let's get into the rolls. So now we've had a look at the board, we all get into our rolls. And we have the same community shelf cards as last time, the same chance cards as last time because I haven't changed them yet. I'm waiting for some coloured paper to come so that I can change it. We have the dice and we have the trusty Donatello here on go. So let's get into our three rolls. So, roll number one. A seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, fantasy. So, for roll number one, I uh, rolled a seven and landed on fantasy, and I picked The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd Jones. Um, so, this one's about um, Rin, who only cares about looking after her family and the family's graveyard, um, but they're both um, like in Dire Street. So, like, the, the dead aren't staying dead, they're rising and they're the being called like the bone houses and um, I've been wanting to read this book for ages so that I can read The Drowned Woods which is also by this author but it, it's set in the same world so I kind of want to read this one first because this one came out first so book number one and roll number two ten one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, a chance card. Ooh, the magician's nephew. Okay. For roll number two, I rolled a seven and landed on chance. And the chance card says that I have to read The Magician's Nephew by C.S. Lewis. Um, I don't have this book on me. Um, it's currently at my sister's house because my niece is reading them. <laughs> um, but yeah, but basically it's the Chronicles of Narnia. Um, I think it's like the first book in the series, like first book released, but it's like not the first book in the chronological order or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's also on my TBR. Um, our final roll. An eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Community shelf. A fiction or a non fiction. Okay, I think I can do that. And for roll number three, I landed on community shelf space and that said I needed to find a book that was fiction or non fiction. I've gone with a non fiction option and picked. Rosie Lewis is taken, so this is like a, a foster carer story, so it comes under the non-fiction category. Um, so this is about a woman called Rosie who fosters children, and in this particular one she fosters a, ba a newborn baby called Megan who is uh, dealing with drug withdrawal symptoms because her mum was taking drugs while she was pregnant with Megan. Um, and the, the baby go, you know, like bonds with Rosie and Rosie's two children and the, the child gets put up for adoption, the adoption breaks down and she goes to live with Rosie and Rosie adopts her. Um, it's not the first book of hers that I've read, that's how I know <laughs> what happens in this book, that Rosie does eventually adopt Megan. And finally this book, this month, um, it's not a roll book but I want to get through my Fairy Loot and Illumicrate books um, so I put them, the, the names of all the books I haven't read yet in a little jar and I pulled this one out. <laughs> so I will also be adding this to my TBR for January. Okay, so these are my books for January. Um, 
I do not feel daunted because none of them are very thick, which is great, which means I will be able to read all of them, especially seeing as The Magician's Nephew is only like, I don't know, about 100 pages long. So yeah, right. Um, so that's my TBR for January. Uh, let me know what is on your TBR for January. And if you like this video, hit like. And if you want to see more from me, hit subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.